Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the machete, chainsaw, rock climbing axe, and the flare gun, all within 8 minutes of each other. Now where I am is right near the cockpit. This is the first day, I just thought I'd come here to save time on the video. Just going to grab some flares first. This is a point of reference as to know where I am right now. There's quite a few flares here. Now I'm going to get the flare gun first. Now up there is where the katana cave is. I could have actually gotten all five in like 10 minutes. They're really close to each other, all these weapons. I don't see the point in getting one weapon at a time like most videos do. I've done it in the past, but it's just better to get all at the same time, especially when they're on the same run, basically. Now I have attached uh, cloth and booze to my plane axe here. This will make it easier to go through the caves. Now the cave I'm going to is probably a little bit more of a difficult way to get the rock climbing axe, but I will show you an easier way. I'm just gonna grab some marigold and chicory while I'm here. It's near these tents here. What you do, get in the cave, slide all the way down. Once you get to the bottom, jump over that ledge there. Probably gonna use a upgraded stick here. It's got better block than the plane axe, so it might be more helpful. Now this is a part that can be quite tricky, is jumping down this ledge. There are quite a few ways to do it without injuring yourself. Just uh, make sure, just be careful. Save beforehand if you need to. This area is rather dangerous because we're going through we're going to be going through about four cannibals here. And quite a few others later on. I just keep lighting, it keeps going out. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. Now this is the part that's a bit of a worry. There's about four of them here. Now I'm not going to fight them and I don't recommend you fight them either. Oh, look at that. Great physics there. Now you can't really block from behind, so it's best to face them and run backwards. But be careful because the ledge is up here. Oops. There's a rock climbing axe on the wall. There's two cannibals and about four or five babies here. Just run past them. Walk along this ledge here. You know you're in the right place when you see this body hanging here. You've got to jump this part. God, I hate that bloody paper always coming out. Now save your energy here because you're about to run past a cannibal and about five babies. And you need to get onto the climbing rope down here. Once you're there, climb it, it's only short. Okay, there's no cannibals here. Now where this leads to is the edge where the sinkhole is. You don't want to come here during night time because climbing in and out of the hole while it's dark is very risky. Now, here's the trick to this. Now, I recommend you save before this because this is hard. Jump down onto the ledge here and then attach on. When climbing in and out of the hole, you want to avoid flat ledges because you will stop climbing and hop down and you won't be able to attach your rock climbing axe to the wall so you'll be stuck there. This is why you want to do it during the day so you can see where you're going but follow this route and it'll take you straight down. Now I'm going to be heading over to those rocks over there because if I land on the ground I don't know what will be waiting for me at the bottom. 
even on the first day, the cannibals and mutants down here are extremely difficult. They're the grey ones which do more damage and, and they're much more tougher. So if you head along this way, you can kind of scout before you decide to head down. Now I could have dropped down ages ago, but uh, don't want to risk it. See, there's one armsy there. I think there's not there he is there. Better take meds. This is another good reason why you should save before coming down here. Now the machete's right next to the cockpit of the helicopter. There it is there. Denied. Now get out of there as quick as you can. This is what I do. Make sure he's not actually going to hit me while I'm climbing. Right near the entrance to the sinkhole, or the proper entrance, is these rock type shaped things. These are actually climbable. You can attach your rock climbing axe to them. As you can see, there's a flat ledge there. I'm going to avoid that. I'd say 95% of this wall, you can't attach your rock climbing axe to. When you find a ledge that you can't climb over, just head to the side and it should work. The door's a good reference because it will take me straight up to where the ledge is. Hopefully. Yeah, I think I can see it up there. Don't worry about your energy. You won't get tired and fall off. Oh, there's so many ledges you get stuck on here. Head up. And there we go. Now this bit can be a bit fiddly. Now, 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 now. Don't fall down. Now there are some supplies there like flares and soda and that sort of stuff. I recommend you grab it. Now we're going to get the chainsaw which is about 30 seconds away from here. It's ridiculous how close it is. Head into this crack in the wall. Now it's directly ahead of me and there's about four babies as well. I'm just going to use a flare gun here because I'm lazy. Also, I don't really want to die after going this far and not saving. There's a chainsaw there. And two cans of fuel. I don't think there's anything else down here. You can save at that little tent. Now this is the difficult part. For those who don't know, you can actually swim here without the rebreather. I don't know if you can see, but it's a really quick swim. This is the way you can come down. The reason I went the other way was just to show you that there are two ways to do this. So you can come down this way and head back this way. I wouldn't recommend going down and coming back the other way because it's there's like freaking eight or nine cannibals and that's ten babies. The video is pretty much over. This is just to show you that there is another way in and out. And this rope is long as hell. And then you come out here where the land bridge is there and the big lake. There's crocs nearby here and tortoises. And that's over there is where the cave used to be for the, well the cave's still there where the, it's the cave for the modern axe. And there's some tents here you can save. And there's a cannibal village over here. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.